let me explain you the setup before we start the inspection we entered the part thickness of 1 inch we entered the refracted angle of the probe 60 degrees and based on that the machine is set up now you can see these uh, different color bands this is the first leg and this is the second leg what does the leg mean right here in this diagram this is the first leg this is the second leg so this point sorry this point on the plate corresponds to this point on the screen this point on the plate which is the bottom of the plate corresponds to that point on the screen and then the very top if the sound goes up to here would be the full V path and that would correspond to this point on the screen so if there is an indication at the bottom of the plate it would show up right at this point now let us start scanning the plate and see where the indications appear so I put the probe here and we see a signal that signal is shown here as per our calculations for this signal the RA is 1.295 and the DA is 0.993 which means that it's at the bottom of the plate but based on RA we need to find the location so I take a ruler and measure 1.295 from the front of the probe and if you can see here on the ruler if you can zoom in and 1.295 actually falls at this point so from this point it's 0.993 below this point now let me go to the drawing of this plate and we will transfer this point from this plate to the drawing so that point from the plate corresponds to this point on the drawing and then from there we have to go 0.993 inches down which is basically one inch and that would correspond to the point here on the weld so that reflection is from the bottom cap of the weld. Now let's proceed scanning and look for the second indication. Again this is a signal from the cap and I will keep scanning here to look for other indication. Let's see and let me go to this indication right here and that indication as you can see peaks up right there and again just looking at the legs we can say that the indication is at the bottom of the plate and uh, which is DA is 0.989 the signal is here I've set up the gate to cut the signal it's at the bottom of the plate now we have to find the location relative to the weld cap and that we will find using the RA the RA is 1.269 from the probe location and if I take it can you zoom on that mm -hmm. okay so we go here and then I go 1.269 which is 1 1.1 1.2 1 1.269 so it comes out here I'll mark this location here which is right there then I will transfer this location to the drawing just remember this location here and that corresponding location on the drawing actually is here coming back from again here to here and then from there we go 0 0.993 or 990 down and that actually comes out to be right there so that in fact would be if there is a flaw here what could it that be that would be a toe crack so this is the signal coming from the toe crack so again it's very simple you pick up the signal and then get the RA location the depth location mark it on the well profile and see what it could be so here is indication number one okay I will be scanning for the next indication here is the well cap again I'll keep scanning 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 and I run into this new indication then I will pick it up it picks up somewhere here and you can see it's multiple signals and it picks up right there 
So once the signal peaks up, then we have to move the gate to catch the signal. And I move the gate on the signal. Make sure that the gate only cuts the signal of interest. Otherwise, it will give you a wrong measurement. So we are trying our signal of interest is this one. The depth is 526 and the RA is 461. I'll go back, zoom in on the probe. I'll go 461, 0 0.461 from the front of the probe, which places me right there at the center of the weld, at the center of the weld. And from there, I have to go down 0.526, which is basically the middle of the weld. And that would put me at a location which is right there. Right there. So this is the indication number two. Most likely this indication is a center line crack because it's in the center of the weld. So this is indication number two and uh, which is right there. Again, we measure the RA 0.461 measure it on the plate, find the location, transfer it to the drawing which comes out to be here and then check the depth on the machine then go down 526 and that puts us here. Let's look for the third indication. I will be scanning right here. That's your weld cap. Oh, there is a signal right there. Then again I'll move the probe to pick up the signal and the signal actually peaks up before the bottom of the plate. So in fact the signal peaks up somewhere at this location. And let's say it peaks up here. The next step would be to move the gate which is the green gate on top of the signal. So gate start right there. The depth of the flaw is 755. RA is uh, 1.5 inches, so I will go 1.5 inches from the front of the probe and uh, that would basically put me, oh no sorry, RA is 0.858, so it's 0.858 from the front of the probe wedge which will place me right there, so this, this is the point where the flaw is and this point then I will transfer it to the drawing the corresponding location of the drawing and that comes out to be right this point here and then from here I have to go 755 down which places me right there and this is actually a location right here so what could it be if it's right here it has to be lack of fusion as you can see we found three indications one was the toe crack center line crack and lack of fusion. The inspection was simple. The reason being we have the right probe, we, we, we had the right setup, the range was set up properly, we found the exit point of the probe, we found the actual refracted angle of the probe, we entered all these parameters into the system, got the right setup and then we got the right values of RA and DA. If you enter the wrong values of the probe, refracted angle, the x value, then everything will go wrong because, for example, this 3, this indication 3, in case we, we had the wrong value of RA and we placed it right here, it probably is not lack of fusion, it's most likely going to be slag. So just a little bit difference from here to there in RA, which could be just 0.1 or 0.2 inches, will make a difference in the interpretation of the flaw. As you know, a slack can, is, can be acceptable, but lack of fusion is actually a rejectable flaw. That basically concludes the demonstration of the weld inspection. If I have to go to a different weld, means the different thickness, for example, we have to go to a half inch thick weld. The only thing I would change would be the thickness in the machine, so I'll go to here go to trig and instead of one inch thick I will change it to half inch thick. If the thickness is three quarter inch then we will change it to three quarter inch.
if the refracted angle of the probe is 45 degrees we are using then we will change it to 45 degrees so as we change these parameters these legs will change if we change the probe then we will have to change the x value and th that's how the system is uh, set up and that's how the inspection is done now the way I have explained it is uh, very straightforward you really don't have to use any trigonometric formulas because they are already built into the machine and all you have to do is set up the machine properly get the proper RADA and then have a drawing which is an actual drawing of the well being inspected and then place the indications on it and then interpret the flaws. Thank you very much.